Hands. So, hi, hello. So, um, today we're going to talk about how we met because this is a highly requested video. Yeah, everyone's been asking. Highly requested. <laughs> yeah. Of all our subs, all the Jodas out there want to know how we met. <laughs> all right, how we actually met was we both used to work. Um, I, I don't even know if you can say where we work, so we won't say it just in case. We used to work at this place. Um, I used to work at this place for about four years. And Joe started there on my fourth year. So maybe about a month. So at this point, I planned to leave the job. I had planned to leave the country because... Well, because I wanted something new. I wanted to experience and I wanted to start saving up money to build my life. So I just wanted to go to Norway and work and basically just work constantly and save a lot of money. Um, but obviously he came into my life. So he started working at my workplace on my actual birthday, which is 19th of September. So <laughs> for, anyone who wants for anyone who wants to, you know, <laughs> send me a car as a gift, just letting you know. Um, and I, when he, as soon as he started, I think it was about maybe a few days after he started, I actually saw you and I saw him and I thought, oh, hello. And I think the first thing I said that was like, oh, I want to climb, I want to <laughs> climb him or something. I don't know. It was just because he's obviously so tall. Just, and I was like, and I saw him. Yeah. Pervert. pervert. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him and I wanted him straight away. And as soon as, um, I think as soon as I saw him, there was a crush, like started straight away. And as I got talking to him, that, um, crush build up more. Um, what did you feel, I suppose, when you first well, saw me? Yeah, obviously, I saw you. I didn't. I don't think I got to see you on like the first day of me being there. Obviously, I was very scared and nervous. My head was down the entire time. Um, so obviously, I think it was probably like the first week. Um, yeah. And I saw Ida flaunting her, flaunting my just sexy figure around the office. Um, so, I wasn't flaunting my figure. That sounds was. like I'm walking she around was. naked, okay, shaking maybe, my maybe, ass or maybe, something. I'm like, <laughs> oh, twerking in the middle of. <laughs> I think you need to elaborate on me flaunting okay, my figure. Sorry, uh, I had a massive steering problem when <laughs> when I saw either of them. No, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So sorry, I saw her walking around the office. Let's just go with that. Um, and straight away she just caught my eye, she was so beautiful and um, she was constantly smiling and I could clearly tell that she, you know, she was a fun person and loved and she was just so happy. Um, so yeah, I think that was, that was one of the, uh, the attractions and I think sort of in that same week I went home, sort of told family, friends, I even told my mum, um, I was like, oh my God, there's like this beautiful African queen at work, she's stunning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that smile was. Like. That's um, me. I'm the African queen. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, people people sort of knew knew about Ida. Yeah. Long before. Um, so yeah, that was that was my first sort of thoughts about you anyway. That was your first start. Yeah. And um, the first time we ever spoke to each other at work was when, well, he was um, at the copy machine area copying some things because he was doing some admin work. Um, and I think that's the first time, I suppose, that's the closest. At this point, I've been talk, telling all my friends or everyone around me how much I like this guy and how, I suppose, attracted to him I was. And I think it was the weird thing for my friends to see because I'm never, like, I don't really crush easily. Like, I would like someone, but that'll be about it. And then I'll probably be over that, like, about a week later. Um, so it was very weird for them. My, I remember Sarah, she was like... Um, Ida, <laughs> I, I used, like the way I spoke about him, she was just like, I think she was very surprised to hear me talk about anyone like that. Um, and basically he was at the copy machine, sorry, lost my train of thought. <laughs> he was at the copy machine copying and while he was there, my friend Rebecca, was. she sits opposite me. So it's like a row of desks and I sit there, she's up. So I stood up. So sometimes I'll stand up just to, because in an office environment, it's good to get your blood flowing or whatever. Good enough topic. Um, I was I was standing up, but I was standing up this time as well because he was there. So I was like, oh, 
say something to him. Say something. I think I don't know. I was like to ask him about toilets or something, and she was like, should I? Should I live ask? And then she basically um, goes to him. Oh, um, excuse me. How tall are you? <laughs> and basically, uh, what did you say, Bob? It was just embarrassing. I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I probably did. I just say guess. Can you guess? Yeah, I think you just turn around to him and say. Um, you didn't really turn around that much either. It was just like, oh, guess. And when, <laughs> yeah, basically. And then she was like, I don't know. She guessed something ridiculous. Less. <laughs> it was. It wasn't ridiculous. It was probably like six four or something. No, she said like six. Two or six, three. Um, I, at this point, I, I had already asked about him, so I knew that he was six seven. And um, so I was like, "Oh, I think he was about six seven And uh, he was <laughs> like, "Yeah, that's correct." Um, and then, <laughs> and then Rebecca, I don't even remember how that uh, the conversation went after that. But she turned around into him and go, "What is your mom feeding you?" Because <laughs> he was just such a big guy, and I was just like, "Oh my god." So basically, it was embarrassing for everyone around, but at least I got to say one thing to him. So later on in the same day, I walked over to where he was doing the admin work at the copy machine, and I um, he said to me, "Oh, good guess on the height, by the way." Um, and I just go, and and he goes, "Oh, sorry, good guess on the height. How did you know?" And I just said to him, I just like turned around and just said, um, "I'm just good with height." <laughs> Like, I don't even know, because I, I honestly don't know what that means, I didn't know what to say And it was just one of those where you walk through and you go, oh my god, I just know about height, sorry, who says that? And... Did you pick up line there? Oh, it was just embarrassing <laughs> And just when I thought things couldn't get more embarrassing My auntie works at um, the same job, well she still works there, but she worked there And she walks over around the area because the water machine was there Got water and turned around to him and go, she's single you know and loud. I was like, yeah, loud. Was Everyone loud. could hear it. He could hear it. He just went, huh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't really say anything. And I was just like, oh my god. She came back and said, I was like, oh my god. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> Why would you even say that? Like, that's so embarrassing. She's like, what? He needs to know. I'm setting you guys up. I was like, no, that's not how kids do it nowadays. <laughs> <You're> just, <laughs> I need to be like hard to get and things like that. And she was, oh, and she, but then I spoke, to, um, I spoke about that to her, I think yesterday. And she was just like, well, where are you now? Yeah. So you should be great. It worked, yeah, exactly. It worked. So I suppose it kind of worked, but at the time it was very embarrassing. We have to thank hey, Auntie and, and Rebecca. We do. So thanks, thanks Rebecca. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Aaron. Because I feel like all of them oh, ha yeah. had a hand in this relationship, like happening thing, um, thing going on. <laughs> and uh, I suppose after that, uh, after the first time we spoke to each other, um, we were just yeah, so, yeah. So after after sort of that moment, that embarrassing moment, um, <laughs> everything sort of unraveled. Like I. We sort of saw each other on like our lunch breaks and always spoke to each other um, and then it sort of just rolled on from there we would take or I would take my break and then Ida would come on her break <laughs> um, so, you know, Our breaks just happened to be just, around the same time Just happened to be on the same time I used time. to sit there and stare at the back of his head <laughs> and wait for him to go to break Cause, and as soon as he went on break I was like alright See ya! I'm going! And sometimes it was one of those days I was like, I'm freaking starving when is this guy going on his lunch break? And it was just like, I was just... Because I just enjoyed it and it was just that excitement. You know when you have a crush on someone, I don't know if any of you have that. When you have a crush on somebody, like a proper crush, like a schoolgirl kind of a crush, that's what I had on him. It was just... I wanted to be around him every day and it was just to a point where I looked forward to going to work so I can see him and have my heart racing like it did yeah exactly like i always look forward to going obviously no one unless you love your job no one looks forward to going to work <laughs> however i think the both of us <clears throat> sorry i think the both of us at that point yeah we sort of um enjoyed oh, yeah. yeah look forward to going to work um so yeah that is essentially how but yeah it's our story, we like it, we loved every moment of it. Yeah, and I think after that we were like, we were always break times, we were always playing pool together. I was so bad at pool and um, he used to always let me win. 
I remember, and then we used to send messages between each other about, oh, I'm, I was like, I'm gonna kick your ass a pool today, <laughs> and things like that. It's just, um, yeah, and I think we grew over then, and I think my like for him just grew. I think we just, I don't know, we just start liking each other more. And you know, when you first crush on someone, and then you find out they're not the person you thought, but it's just the complete opposite. Like, he was even more funny when you spoke to him and yeah funny guy a funny guy, a funny guy. Uh, yeah i don't know what was it that attracted you to me in i don't know like a, like we i say were... yeah, it it was different purely for the fact and I, can't, I really can't explain it i can't articulate it how i want to it's yeah like when when i saw first saw Ida. Sorry, this is going to be a very long video again. <laughs> um, when I, like when I first saw Ida, I, like, to me it was just the impression of, wow, she's incredible, she's beautiful. Um, so every time we spoke or every time she was like near, I could feel just nerves. I could feel my heart race. I could feel, like my palms would start to sweat. If she spoke to me in my head, I'm just thinking, please do I, not I say nothing stupid. This, by the way. <laughs> um, and it was just one of them things, it was like, um, there's no way that I could ever tell a girl like Ida, like, oh, do you know what, I think this of you, you know. Um, and I actually thought, like I say, I, I thought she had, like, some big billionaire boyfriend and she took this job as a joke and it was just to pass the time of the day and stuff. So, <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, it was weird, but it was, I w yeah, I wouldn't, you know. I wouldn't have changed anything. I still, to this day, wouldn't have changed anything how, how everything went. Um, how we met, yeah. Yeah, like I say, it's our story. Other than that, that's how we met. And we're still together since then. And it's it's been an awesome journey. Yes, it's been an yes. awesome journey. I think it's crazy that I've managed to find my lover and my best friend. That, that would probably look really office. awkward. Yeah, like... Yeah, I do, I do want to get any makeup. And you. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> like I do love you, but uh, just, just don't do like, I love you from afar. <laughs> like uh... exactly. it was exactly like that. But um yeah. Take it! I've got lips coming up. All over your back. Thanks. And foundation on your nose. Oh well I've got a ton. <laughs> um, yeah, again guys, sorry if the video is very long. Um, we apologise, but thank you again for the subscribers. The comments are, are incredible. Oh, um, just cut, guys. Keep on commenting because we love your comments and some yeah, of them definitely. crack us up. And it's crazy. Like, we love talking to you. So just comment. We'll obviously always try and reply. Um, and Sliss, guys. Sliss. Hashtag Sus Sliss. Hashtag Sliss. Subscribe, like, and share. Share with the trees outside. Just share with everyone. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye guys. See you in the next video.